This is a smart train. Why smart? Because it can guarantee arrival times. Because it can predict part failures. Because it can take market share away from an airline. That is what makes it smart. This is what we should be talking about when we talk about the Internet of Things. But instead, we're talking about sensors and devices. But here's the thing. For as smart as these devices are, the stuff we're doing with them can still be kind of dumb. See, the Internet of Things is only half the picture. It's the materials, the infrastructure. To make it truly work, we have to enable those things to work in tandem with everything else. Historical data and patterns that bring together data on customers, suppliers, labor schedules, product history, transactions, and more. We're talking about the kind of contextual information that it takes to understand what's really happening right now. It's the insight, and more importantly, business value that comes when you bring all these streams together. We call it the analytics of things. It's how we enable retailers to have fully automated checkouts, saving billions annually in lost time and labor costs. It's how manufacturers predict and repair machines long before they fail. It's how cities can create a holistic energy grid, rewarding citizens for reducing their total energy footprint. It's how all these millions of things actually result in smarter decisions. So how do we make that happen? How do we build the analytics of things? It takes the expertise of someone who's seen the evolution of connected devices. It takes the intelligent approaches, not just to those devices, but to real-time data streams and web-scale analytics. It takes someone who can use deep analytics and parallel speed to get easy access to answers, who can pull together tons of data in a data lake or warehouse for easy, fast analysis. It takes a partner like Teradata.